I didn't hit it hard enough. the back of John's head all the time. Oh, yeah, I didn't even touch it, you guys. Oh, really? I touched it, but it didn't move. What are you getting? You guys are looking for a new camera guy. Yeah, I gotta get a little bit of camera guy in there. It's behind the scenes start this interview with a little bit of loving. Everybody give each other a hug. Lee and Kevin. There we go. Nelson and Nelson This is brotherly love. <laughs> this is the root influence. And while we have to thank Lenny for this wonderful studio here, Bedside Studios, to make you guys sound so great. So I've got Kevin, Lee, and Tom, Anton, and Nelson. All right, so I'm going to throw it over to Kevin, since you are the lead guy, lead vocals. How did the band all get together? Well, uh, Lee Nelson and Anton have been jamming together for probably five years now. And uh, I came in the picture about three years ago. I was high school, me and Anton went to high school together, and he kind of convinced me to jump ship, so I did. And, <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the rip sound, what's it all about, Lee? The riff sound is, well, this is the riff sound, this room right here, thanks to Lenny, but uh, it's like a, a blues rock tinged, uh, I don't know, it's, it's roots rock, yeah. we'll call it that. It's hard, it's always hard to brand your own stuff. But uh, some serious musicianship here. So I've got Nelson here rocking out on the boom box, but, oh, the boom. Uh, yeah, I call it boom box. <laughs> Uh, I guess songwriting and music, is it a collaborative thing? In the band, it's definitely a collaborative thing. Um, we all sort of have our own styles of songwriting. Um, I tend to be sort of uh, a perfectionist, overcomplicating things. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, to say the least. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin and Lee will often sort of try to, try to tame me. You know, obviously we all come up with riffs. Antoine's the best musician in the band, so he will always throw in his musical input and sort of get it, get things sounding great. Um, but overall, the true vibe is is in it. You know, you're sort of we just all four of us just so happen to mesh and just sound really good together. We're the brothers. Yeah, exactly. That's what it comes right, down Anton, to. Antoine, what is it like playing in this group? Oh, it's awesome. I love it. Playing with my best buds. No Nelson since kindergarten. Know these guys for years. I love it. Did you ever think you'd be playing in a band at this point in your life? Oh yeah. Always, always. Always. Yeah, the diehard bass player. Plan. Okay, let's talk about the new CD though. Red River Flu. Interesting name. What is that about? Red River Flu. Well, it's kind of just a. Uh, I guess it's just an homage to our city, you know, to Winnipeg. The Red River flows right through and. Our style is sort of just a collaborative sickness. It's contagious, you know. It's a <laughs> flu. You want you want to catch it. You want to hang on. You want to listen to it. So uh, that's that's the idea there. Okay, Kevin. What kind of audiences do you want to attract with Riff? I want to attract any sort of audience. Uh, whoever will take the time to listen to us. I guess really. That's all that counts. Whoever listens to us is great. I don't care who. Nice. <laughs> Future now, touring at least some gigs even locally here in town? Mm -hmm. We actually are just uh, working out a summer tour. Uh, we're probably going to go west, uh, west Canada. We've got about a month slot to do a, a tour, so uh, that's going to be a big learning experience. We're really excited to do that. Um, but as far as locally, we're, we're about to release the album, obviously, but then we're going to start playing a bunch of, tour, a bunch of shows locally uh, just to kick off the tour and stuff. We're really excited for all the shows coming up. I was really happy to see that you were part of the Winnipeg Folk Festival, Anton, on the Young Performer stage. Your group, first of all, and you got to work with a guy from Broken Social Scene. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, 
Yeah. Cool like I, yeah. I've gone every year in my life, so it's just amazing to play there, you know? Yeah. Like, I remember going there when I was this tall. <laughs> he, he, went there, awesome. he went there when his mom was pregnant with him. So he's literally been there more years than his own age. Yeah, like, this will be my 23rd. Fest. And he's 22. Like keep this in mind. He's 22. He's been there 23 times. Uh, okay, Nelson. Yeah, yeah, I know. Way <laughs> <laughs> too much information. But I mean, that whole experience Lee, must have really helped you guys a lot. Yeah, it helped. And actually, Andrew Whiteman helped us sort of gain a good, uh, a good perspective on, I guess, writing our own material. At that point, we hadn't written a lot of our own stuff, and he definitely pointed us in the right direction. You know, he sort of helped us get some original vibe out of it, not just, you know, I guess copying all of our influences, but I mean, everyone's really just a compilation of their own influences, so. Well, I know you guys are just starting out, but Kevin, finally, before we wrap things up, for all the young bands out there, all the musicians, all the guys that want to have a band, what do they need to know? Is there one thing that the Riff has done that has made you guys so solid? made us solid is that we stick together and we don't put up with anybody else's BS like <laughs> nitpicky bass player <laughs> and, uh, no just don't worry about what other start a band have to with say. your friends yeah start with your friends and don't worry about what other people have to say just go out and have a good time that's all, right. all boils down to there you go words to the wise it's the root influence get their new CD Red River Flu it promises to be a blast for Shaw TV and Tracy Coca